Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Amen. And today is Thomas Sunday. And the troparian for today. Hmm. From the sealed tombs, you did shine forth, O life. Through closed doors, you did come to your disciples, O Christ God. Renew in us, through them, an upright spirit by the greatness of your mercy, O resurrection of all. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's, let's bring in Robin. There she is. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Ah, great. Great. Well, it's, cool, it's going to cool down here this week. We had, let me see, Friday. Yes, Friday was in the mid-80s. Yesterday was mid seventies. Today, mid fifties, and the rest of the week. So, well, that's spring in Western New York. So, well, we're, we're going to be in the sixties most of the week. Um, you rain. You got rain, right? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Absolutely. We got a bunch of it too. We got a bunch of it too. So, uh, Joanne Manaski's here, and I think it was Joanne. That gave us the uh, uh, link to the GoFundMe page for Father Antipas. If you haven't heard, Father Antipas is uh, down with typhoid fever and someone stole the exhaust system out of his car. Oh, Lord. So we pray for a quick recovery for uh, Father Antipas. And if you'd like to donate, uh, maybe someone can put up the GoFundMe page uh, again. For Father Antipas, so it's through David Sauls, which is pretty reliable. So um, I would encourage everybody to think about that this morning. So would you start us off in morning prayers? All right, we've got Acts 12, 1 through 11, and then we go to the Gospel of John, chapter 20, 19 through 31. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread, so when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him and did not know what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and second guard posts, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And to go on with that story, uh, 
Peter goes is out there in the middle of the street. I can imagine all sorts of alarms are going off. Our prisoners have escaped, and and uh, he goes to a safe house. He knocks on the door, and someone opens the door, looks, and they close the door on him. As you go through the story, they close the door on him. Go screaming back. It's Peter. It's Peter. He's out of prison, and uh, Peter's out there. I got to get inside here, out of the street before they catch me. And uh, someone says, "Let him in! Let him in! Hurry up! Let him in!" Oh, I can imagine that that scene. So, okay, and our gospel is from Saint John, chapter twenty. Yes, nineteen through thirty-one. Then, then the same day at evening being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace be to you. And as the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came and the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hand here and put it in my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that believing you may have life in his name. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go around and see who's with us this morning. And, oh, there's the GoFundMe. There's the GoFundMe for uh, Father Antipas. Jonathan Nichols pr provided it for us. Now, let me see if I can do a copy and paste over there on YouTube. Let me see here. Copy link. Maybe too long for YouTube. I think we ran into a problem yesterday, but we'll see. We'll see. We we'll shall see here. P -p -p Paste. Yeah, it's going to be way too long. I think. Yeah, it won't do it. Alrighty. So what I'll do instead is this. Boop, boop. The saddle comes next and as grooves are down tight. Bear with me for a minute, folks. Ah. Ah. There we go. Copy. And then go over here and paste. Uh -huh. 
And what I'm doing here, there we go, enter. There. Okay, so what I did for you folks over there at uh, YouTube and the Annex, I uh, posted the Facebook link to me, and then on that comment section, you can see the GoFundMe page for Father Antipas, and I'll repeat that. He has uh, been diagnosed with uh, typhoid fever, and someone stole the exhaust system out of his car. So if you can uh, uh, donate a little money through that GoFundMe page, it'd be it'd be a help to him and his ministry over there in Nairobi. We, so there we go. Alrighty, so who else is here? Let me see. Thank you, Jonathan, for posting it over there for us. And now up here, Barb Anderson, good morning. And Joanne Manaski, good morning. Maria Fenton, good morning. And good morning, uh, Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Please pray for Lynette. She went home from the hospital yesterday and needs support. And I'm concerned that she more, needs more that she needs more than she has, support-wise. Thank you so much for praying for her and her family. Yes, Lord, we pray for Lynette. You know, she and her mother, you know, suffering from kidney failure, and it's been a challenge. So, Lord, we pray that you heal them both and bring them back to good health. Amen. <clears throat> and Joanne Manaski says, Jonathan Nichols, thank you for posting that. And thank you. And Jonathan. Ruthie Johnson, good morning. And Jonathan Nichols says, good morning. And Karen Kalanovich, please pray for a friend for Dane's friend, Stephanie, Danelle's friend, Stephanie, who's in the hospital in ICU with pneumonia. Thank you so much. Lord, we pray for Stephanie. We pray for her, Lord, uh, that you heal her and bring her back to good health. We pray for that. Stravula Batskos, good morning to you. And Maria Fenton, if I haven't said good morning, Maria, down there in Ocala, good morning to you. And over here, in the annex, Joyce Marie created me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. Arthur Bethea, good morning all, and have a blessed day. You too, Arthur, you too. Uh, Arthur's uh, in Fadville, North Carolina. His uh, parish is, it's actually a mission parish, St. Nicholas. I can't remember the priest's name. I think it's Father Andrew, but I can't remember. But we pray for that parish and that priest and Arthur and his family. Amen. Violetta, good morning, Steve and everyone. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. And there's our Juliet from Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, yes, Alexander's with us, too. So the Sabunya family's with us. Good morning. And Rob King just popped in. Good morning to you. And Earl and Vicki Winter, good morning. I was over there in Nashville, Tennessee. I think I've seen, oh, Amber Tremaine has been in Kalispell, Montana, beautiful spot, uh, visiting her daughter and her family. Well, they're heading back to Snohomish, Washington. So uh, uh, we pray for safe travels for, uh, for uh, Amber. We pray for that, Lord. We pray for that. And Amber says, praying for Father Antipas, Lord, in the midst of sickness and distress, be his peace and bring him complete healing. Amen. Thank you, Amber. Okay. Okay. Well, would you, uh, would you lead us in prayer this morning? Absolutely. Yes, sir. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, who ever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, 
who provided us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos. We magnify thee. O oh Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray, pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> and now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, thank you so much, and uh, you have a good Sunday. And all you folk out there, you have a good Sunday, too. Of course, on Sunday mornings, we cut things a little short so everybody get to church on time. So get me to the church on time. <laughs> so. There's a couple of, no, there's three things we got to remember. Can't forget that. That's right. And uh, that, what are they? That God loves us. He really, really, really does. That we love each other. We love you. We really, really, really do. And that Christ is risen. He truly is risen. A hundred percent. Robin, <laughs> thank you so much. And you have a good day. All you folk out there, have a good day and a blessed day. And remember in your prayers today, uh, Stephanie and Father Antipas. And safe travels for Amber this morning, okay? Long trip through the mountains. So have a good day, everyone. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.